Hello friends, today in this session we will discuss solution of the problems related to transport engineering which were part of gate 21 examination and we will discuss the questions which were asked in the forenoon session. The first question is the shape of the most commonly designed highway vertical curve is and there are four options spiral, parabolic, circular of same radius or circular of different radii. Now here I must tell you that the vertical curve is designed as a parabola. Although we design horizontal curve as a circular curve, but vertical curve is designed as a parabola. If it is a summit curve, we take a square parabola y is equal to a x square. If it is a valley curve, we take cubic parabola. So correct answer is B. The second question is a highway designed for 80 km per hour speed has a horizontal curve section with radius 250 meter. If the design lateral friction is assumed to develop fully, the required super elevation is and the possible answers are 0 0.02, 0 0.05, 0 0.09 or 0 0.07. Now this is the equation which we used to calculate the super elevation on a horizontal curve on a road where E is the amount of super elevation, F is the coefficient of lateral friction, R radius, V speed. Now V is given here 80 km per hour but what is given is that this is fully developed. And the value of f we take in the design is 0 0.15 for a speed of 80 km per hour. And therefore, E should be V square upon 127 R minus f. So, if you put these values here, 80 square upon 127 R, R is 250 meter and this is 0.15. And this comes out to be a value of 0 0.051. And the question is that you should mention only up to two places of decimal. So you remove this. So the correct answer is B that is 0 0.05. The next question is spot speeds of vehicles observed at a point on a highway are 40, 55, 60, 65 and 80 km per hour. The space mean speed in kilometer per hour rounded off to two decimal places of the observed vehicle is. Now the speed which are given here, they are the spot speeds and if you take the normal average of these speed that will be the time mean speed. Space mean speed is harmonic mean of spot speeds V1 plus v2 plus v3 and so on. So space mean speed here will be number of vehicles are 5, 1 upon 45 plus 1 upon 55 plus 1 upon 60 plus 1 upon 65 plus 1 upon 80. These are the speeds which are given. And if you solve this, it will be 56.99 kilometer per hour because answer is to be given up to two places of decimal. So we keep 56.99. We don't round off to 57 kilometer per hour. So that is the question number three. Question number four is on runway. The longitudinal section of a runway provides following data. So end to end runway length and corresponding gradient are given 0 to 300 meter it is plus 1.2 percent gradient 300 to 600 it is minus 0.7 600 to 1100 plus 0.6 and so on. The question is effective gradient of runway. Now effective gradient of the runway is the RL of the highest point on the runway minus R of the lowest point divided by total runway length. So from the given table, 
we should calculate what is the maximum difference in elevation on the runway. So, you make a table like this that 0, 300, 600, 1100, 1400 and 1700. Let us say the RL of the first point at 0 is 100. So, RL of this point which is 300 meter away with a gradient of 1.2 percent will be 100 plus 300 multiplied by the gradient between 0 to 300 that is 1.2 percent that is 103.6 meter. RL of this point will be 103.6 meter minus because now the gradient is minus 0 0.7, 0 0.7 by 100 into the distance 300, next 300 and this will be 101.5 meter. 0 0.7 into 300, 2.1, 2.1 is basically removed from 103.6. Similarly, for next 500 meter, it is plus 0.6 percent gradient and therefore, it will be 101.5 plus 0.6 into 500 divided by 100 that is 3 meters added now and it will be 104.5. Similarly, you can find the elevation of this point it will be 102.1 because it is now again the negative gradient of 0 0.8 percent and finally, from this point to this point also you have negative gradient of 1 percent and this will be 99.1 meter. So, highest point here is 104.5 meter, lowest point is 99.1 meter and therefore, effective gradient will be 104.5 minus 99.1 divided by length of the runway that is 1700 and this is 0 0.3176 percent into 100. And the question, the answer is to be given up to two places of decimal. So, we say 0 0.32 percent. So, that is the answer of this question. Question number 5 is on design of signals. A signalized intersection operates in two phases. The loss time is 3 second per phase and the maximum ratio of approach flow to saturation flow for the two phases are given as 0.37 and 0 0.4. The question is to find out the optimum cycle length using Webster equation. Webster equation is that the optimum cycle length is 1.5 L plus 5 upon 1 minus summation of Y i. Now, here L is total loss time and this Y i is the critical flow ratio. Now, because it is given here the maximum ratio for each phase. So, for example, if you have these movements moving in a single phase, this has some value of Y. Y is basically Q upon S, approach flow divided by saturation flow one of them will be higher and therefore, we take higher of these two values for the first phase similarly for the second phase. Now, here it is given summation is 0.37 plus 0 0.4, 0 0.77. Lowest time is 3 second per phase, there are two phases. So, this will be 1.5 multiplied by 3 into 2, 2 phases plus 5 
अपॉन वन माइनस पॉइंट सेवन सेवन दिस इज फोर्टीन थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स नाइन प्लस फाइव फोर्टीन अपॉन पॉइंट टू थ्री सिक्सटी पॉइंट एट सेवन सेकेंड इट सेज राउंडेड ऑफ टू वन प्लेस ऑफ डेसीमल सो इट इज सिक्सटी पॉइंट नाइन That is the optimum cycle length. That is question number five. Next question. The next question is the shape of the cumulative distribution function of Gaussian distribution. Now Gaussian distribution is also called the normal distribution, and it is cumulative distribution function (CDF). And for a normal distribution. the cdf is in the form of s it is a s shaped curve so it's a straight forward question answer is b that is s shaped it is not bell shaped bell shaped is a normal distribution the gaussian distribution if you see the probability distribution function this is the probability distribution function which is in the shape of the bell but the question is on cdf cumulative distribution function it is always s shaped Question number seven is on a road, the speed density relationship of a traffic stream is given by u is equal to seventy minus point seven k, where speed u is in kilometer per hour, density k is in vehicle per kilometer. At capacity condition, the average time headway will be, and you have to choose one of these answer. Now u is equal to Seventy minus point seven k. Now this is linear relationship between speed and density, and therefore it follows Green-Shield equation. You can watch my video on macroscopic tra traffic flow, uh, traffic flow modeling to understand it further. But when speed density is linear, then in that case the this is the speed density. You have u here. K here. Now this is when G density is zero. This is seventy kilometer per hour as per equation, and it is when speed is zero. This is hundred. So K here is hundred. Speed here is seventy. This we call the free flow speed. This we call the jam density, and capacity is one by four of free flow speed into jam density. So this is one by four into seventy into hundred, and that is one seven five zero vehicles per hour. Now the question is on average time headway at capacity. Capacity is one thousand seven fifty. Average headway is inverse of this, inverse of flow. And therefore, the average time headway will be three thousand six hundred divided by one thousand seven hundred fifty, and this is two point zero five, two point zero five second. That is the answer. Now, in the four answers which are given, one point six five, zero point five, one point zero, two point one. 2.1 is the closest one. 2.1 second is the correct answer. That is D. And the last question is: the vehicle arrival at an isolated intersection follows the Poisson distribution. The mean arrival rate is two vehicles per minute. The probability Round off to two decimal places that at least two vehicle will arrive in a given one minute interval is, and here also you have to fill the value. Now Poisson distribution is given by this equation that p probability of x being equal to x is e e to the power minus m into m to the power x upon factorial x, where m is the mean rate of arrival average. Average value, average value is two vehicles in a minute interval. So m is two. Now probability of x being two or more 
is 1 minus probability of x being 0 plus probability of x being 1 in a time interval of 1 minute. So, t x equal to 0 is e to the power minus 2 into 2 to the power 0 upon factorial 0 and probability of x is equal to 1 is when x is 1 that is e to the power minus 2 into 2 to the power 1 upon factorial 1. This is 0 0.135 and this is 0 0.271. Total point four zero six point four zero six and therefore probability of having arrival at least two arrivals at least two means two or more will be one minus point four zero six or you can say point five nine. up to two place of decimal it will be 59.59 so that is the probability of two or more arrivals in a one minute interval so these were the questions which were asked in the forenoon session in the next session we will discuss the questions which were asked in the afternoon session thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box